This property in the Pilbara region of Western Australia is currently taking part in MLA's Producer Demonstration Site program. As part of the program, producers Murray and Atisha Gray are looking at the effects, including the cost benefits of phosphorus supplementation on the productivity of heifers in the Pilbara region of Western Australia. We're quite interested in the, in the benefits of feeding uh, phosphorus, knowing that we have a low phosphorus level in a lot of our plants and we're looking to really make some, some gains in our fertility of our cattle. Um, so the genetic fertility is one thing, but that's really got to be partnered with good nutrition. Our maiden heifer calving percentage has sort of been around 60 to 63%. Uh, we'd be looking to get an improvement of that up to and around 80% through this phosphorus trial. Phosphorus is a pretty critical um, element in the diet of, of cattle. It affects a whole range of things including growth and um, fertility, reproduction. One of the biggest uh, problems we have with phosphorus is, is cattle will actively seek out phosphorus if they are deficient in it. One of the most readily available sources of it if they haven't got a supplement available is actually bones from carcasses. Unfortunately they can contain botulism which is a fatal virus if they contract it and for a while before we began uh, vaccinating for it, we did see a rather large number of losses. Murray and Atisha have been applying the phosphorus supplement in a loose lick basis. Uh, optimal daily intake for phosphorus uh, in the lick that we're using is 40 grams a day. We have had a bit of trouble in getting that, that intake. We've been adding quite a lot of molasses to the mix to, just to keep that, keep that uh, daily intake up. Glen Forry Station is 197,000 hectares. Murray and Atisha also sublease about half of their neighbour's property, so they're managing 2,500 Brahmin breeder females with followers, totalling around 6,000 head of cattle across 3,200 square kilometres. For this trial, we need to be getting the cattle in uh, regularly to be able to check their phosphorus levels and the effects that it's having on it. In this instance, the mustering we've been doing, we were taking the cattle off the phosphorus lick, uh, and we'll move some cattle onto a urea lick and others off, off supplement altogether. Taking blood samples to check the phosphorus levels and faeces samples. We've been preg testing them as well. Uh, we'll be checking how the phosphorus levels affect their pregnancy status and their reconception status as well. In this muster, there are two different groups of cattle. One group has been receiving supplementation since the start of June and the other group have received no supplementation. The red and blue mob we're, uh, we're processing at the moment, uh, they were the mob that were not on supplement over the, the green feed period. Uh, we're separating them out, the reds from the blues. The reds will stay off supplement, the blues will go in onto a dry season urea based supplement. At this stage, visually, we're not seeing a, a great difference in performance of the two mobs, but once we get the, the performance data, uh, pregnancy status uh, and some of the phosphorus bloods and, and faecal samples back, hopefully we'll uh, see some performance gains there. This PDS program commenced in March 2013 and is scheduled to run through until August 2014.